Alongside me, Tony Tezozi. I know there's plenty of excitement in that body of yours. Excitement just to go out there and play. Talk us about the excitement of being part of the South African setup at the moment. Uh, yeah, for me, I think it starts at the big, uh, beginning. Obviously, like once you check in, you get all your, your, your stuff, your bags, you see things with your name on it. Obviously, I haven't really got things like that before. Um, you know, you phone your parents, you let them know the, the news just before um, it's released. Obviously, they can't really tell anyone, but they don't have time to tell anyone because my mom was crying and stuff. So I think it starts uh, a bit earlier. And then obviously, like your first training session, you train with the guys that guys like KJ and Anna and that who you obviously don't play against that many times. So just to be in the change room with them, with Temba, Dean, all those guys, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's often a question asked to anyone given an opportunity in a national setup. Where were you when you got the news? Who was the first person you called? And how much did it mean to you to get that call? Uh, I'd come back from gym. I was, I was sitting at home uh, with my, my girlfriend. Uh, we were just relaxing. I think we were probably watching nonsense on TV. And then, yeah, then Shukri, Shukri phoned. Um, you know, try to play. It, I try to play it cool, calm. Like, but obviously on the inside, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm buzzing. And obviously, I've worked with him before, so it was a nice uh, call to get from from him. And um, yeah, I was obviously really excited. We were jumping up and down, and the uh, first person I called obviously was my mom, and then she was obviously in tears and stuff. She was actually talking about her own day. She, I, I was like, okay, let me let her ramble on and then give her the news. But it was good. <laughs> Tony, you mentioned the likes of KG, Lungi, Andrej, Temba. And these are the guys who seldom get to play first-class cricket here at home. And that's where you've made your name and made your mark in these past six years in first-class cricket. Talk us about grafting there and the hard yards, if, if I could use that term, to almost present yourself for, for national honours. Yeah, I think it, it was a bit uh, different from for me. Obviously, I started with a bit of the older guys. It was still semi-pro system, so you, you play club cricket, you know, do well there, then get a chance at semi-pro, and then eventually at the, at the Titans at the time. So. I think I was quite lucky to play in like a uh, really experienced uh, change room. Um, Dean, Aiden, all those guys were were there. Bandia, um, you know, st stalwarts, if I can say. You learn your game, um, and then yeah, like you say, you got to try to be consistent for as long as possible. Um, pick up on things. Um, the system has changed now, but I think it still provides opportunities for for youngsters. It did for myself, and I'm sure a lot of the guys that um, that are in the news all the time scoring runs. Yeah, Division 1, Division 2, something fairly new in South African cricket. But I want us to talk about how things have changed in first-class cricket because when you started, there was a lot of experience in and amongst some of the teams that we have here at home in comparison to now, where there's a lot of youth now. And the general concern is the standard of cricket in first-class cricket. I think there's always going to be a concern, I'm sure, in those days when there was all the senior guys back, the complaints were maybe there's no youngsters coming through. So there's always going to be pros and cons. I think this, in the last two seasons, though, all the franchises have managed to, to get one or two senior guys back. You look at Paul, Stian's come back. With us, we've had, we've been lucky to have Buren, Pato, Pawnee playing for us. So um, I think a lot of the teams have obviously identified that you can't just go the complete young route. You need to surround the youngsters with experienced guys. And I think most of the teams have been able to do that. And I think the standard of cricket has, has been good. I have been out there, trained with the guys, got your kit as well. The intensity has changed a bit from what you almost used to in first class cricket? Yeah, obviously the net session is a little bit more um, frightening uh, facing those kind of guys in the nets. Obviously it's going to be more challenging. Um, I'd be naive to say it isn't, but it's exciting. I feel like when you do have a good nature, it gives you a lot of confidence. Um, we've got an unbelievable bowling attack, so if you're doing decently in those nets um, and that's all the way through to the spinners, then you know you, you're giving yourself the best chance of, of doing well. Things have changed not only in domestic cricket, but with regard to South Africa playing very, very few test cricket at the moment. That means now every chance you get, you almost have to come alright. Is that playing at the back of your mind? Uh, for now, not really. I think I'm just enjoying every every moment I'm spending in the change room. I have a couple of friends in there, so I'm just enjoying that moment. And if an opportunity comes, obviously you want to take it with with both hands. And hopefully in the future there will be more more test cricket. I think. We're still a generation that loves test cricket, on and off the field, fans and players included, so hopefully there'll be more. Just before I let you go, Tony, I, I know you want to be back in the changing room with the guys. What are you hoping to take away out of this series? I think for me, obviously, I'd love to, to be part of a, a, a series win for, for South Africa. Whether I play both games or none of them, I think just being a part of that or in the changing room when that happens would be uh, awesome. Obviously, that's a no slight towards West Indies. Um, it's just I'd love to be a part of that. And if I do get to play and contribute in any way, um, I think that would just kind of top it off for me. Well, all the best and, and enjoy it out there. Thanks, Six. Thanks for having me.